All right, well, thanks for coming, guys. Appreciate this. Um, obviously, we're going to do this one again. And it is important because obviously what I have identified, and I know Kevin can back me up with this, is that when you use the groups and you use the formula that I've put together, it really does work because it enables you to allow the groups to be your tool as opposed to you sitting there constantly, you know, hi, have you done this? Have you looked at this? It's just so much more simpler. It allows you to work smarter and not harder. Now, the two groups that obviously we work within is the Dream Trip Trips and the Digital Nomads. So you've got your Dream Trips for those that want to travel, and then you've got your Digital Nomads for those that want to trade within the company. The way that I use the groups so that therefore I can use them for their most potency is Obviously, what I want to do is I want to get people from my Facebook over to the groups themselves. Now, the best way to do it is to actually pick one of the posts up from the group itself. So you can see here that this is actually a trading post that I picked up that Todd's done. Now, what I've actually done is you can see at the top here, I've, I've deliberately taken Todd's details off it. And there's a reason for it. I don't want anybody going to anybody other than me to ask what that post is about. So that therefore, I can then move them from my Facebook over to the groups. And what I did is I picked up a very, very juicy one. And when I picked this up at the time that I posted it, it was literally the same week. And what I would advise you to do is that when you are picking up posts that you're going to use, try and pick up stuff that's like the same month that you're talking so therefore your audience can see that this is something that's actually happening now. It's not something that happened a year ago. No one's going to get excited from something that happened a year ago. They're going to want to see what's happening in the now. So if you keep what you take from the groups in the now, you will get a better response from it. You can see I've got 49 comments from this and I've still got people that I'm networking off it. And we're talking the 23rd of June. So we're talking, what, five weeks ago? So here you can see the way that I've then picked up another post and I've actually got people who are asking me whether or not they'd like a link on this. So you can see here we've got Peter French, he's asked me for a link. Now this is actually one that I need to go back and actually have a further chat with. We've got Jay. Now Jay has been an absolute superstar since she joined with the company. She literally saw a post of mine. Now this was two posts that I put together which shows what we can do with six days of trading. It's a very, very powerful post. Now, I did this deliberately the way that I did this. I went and had a look at posts. So obviously, Todd put one post in, first of all, which showed what was going on within 48 hours. I then went and picked up in the same bracket, because if you look, it's the 23rd of June, that, that post was dated before. Within the same week, I've then picked up six days as well, which has enabled me to show the power of the company. And that's obviously given interaction on my Facebook wall. I've then moved Jay from my wall to the groups. When people ask me for a link, I'm not sending my business link straight out to them. The reason why I'm not sending my business link straight out to them is that doesn't give any edification of what's going on with the company. The links that I'm sending is for the group. So I've moved Jay over to the group. One of the things that we spoke about as well within the team is um, when you invite them via messenger, don't just send them a cold message, make them feel special. Um, have you seen a group? Um, I've seen a group um, and it's made me think of you. Would you like an invite? So when you communicate with people about the groups and they're not actually physically asking you on your wall from your post, and your private messaging them, make them feel that you've thought of them the minute you make someone feel special, they're more interested and they're more inclined to actually want to know what you've got to show because you've thought of them. Kevin, obviously, you really did follow the instruction that we spoke about when it comes to working the groups. And I'm so pleased and proud to work with you. The fact that you always, always follow guidance and look at you. Here you are, momentum, growing, everything's working for you. And, and we'll talk about this afterwards as well. So obviously, one of the things that I suggested was invite them with a picture. It makes it more personal. We want these people to feel like they're family. We don't want them to feel like they're a number. If you just say their name, 
you make them like a number because you're not making it personal. And I love the way that what you've done, Kevin, is you've gone and found a really vibrant photo as well here. And that's what I like to do. When I'm welcoming someone into the business, I like to find a photo that makes me feel warm about that person, one that gives impact. And I think that this is absolutely brilliant. And I know that you've got to flick through his Facebook to grab that because I flicked through his Facebook when I was putting this together as well. So, you know, you took time with it, Kevin, which shows you care. And this is how you get people into business. You have to show them that you care. And the best way to do that is obviously with these little tricks here. Now, <coughs> here's another one that I picked up. And this is um, from the Digital Nomads. Now, what I've actually done is I've gone and tagged the, my prospects into different parts of the group. So that therefore I'm collating a story with them for them to be able to see exactly what I feel is appropriate in order for them to move forward. So you can see here how good are the trade ideas we're receiving from Forium. You can see obviously the, the amount that, um, that Todd got from this. And then you can then see what I've done with this. So what I've then done is I've picked up three different posts. So I've got the one whereby you can see how much has happened on the 2nd of July. Then I've then picked up the week one. And the week for Todd was $33,554. So it was important for me to tag people into that. It would be wrong of me to add them to the group and just think that they're looking around the group. It's my job to show them. That's what we do. We're here to show we're not here just to add, we're here to show. And that's what you have to do. You can't just do the first step of putting someone in the group without the remainder part of it. If not, it just won't work for you. So <clears throat> you can see here where I'm tagging people. So I've tagged Peter French in, I've tagged, tagged Steph in, I've tagged, uh, tagged Shirley Moore in. You can see that I'm also loving it as well. And you can see that where you've obviously put a comment here on here, Christina, absolutely amazing. But instead of us just saying absolutely amazing, let's start tagging those that we want to show how amazing this product really is. So you can see the quick results from here as well. So all three trade ideas, you can see what I've done. I've literally tagged Jay into a few different things. And she's then gone, it's great. I signed up two days ago and I've learned loads from the training. They've provided and I've made profit already. And this was just by me showing Jay the way that our group works, the way that we've got past to show the performance of what is occurring within the company in respect of whether it be the trading side or the travel side. So the groups themselves, they're, they're very important when you use them correctly. You will see that they will actually generate income for you. So the process here is great. I signed up two days ago and I've learned loads. And then I've asked Jay what she's done. I'm using this deliberately so that therefore I can then go back and I can say to people, look, just have a look here. This is one lady that spoke on my wall showed her this, this is the outcome of what's occurring, just by her seeing what we've got to offer and by her joining through. Now, when you invite somebody to the group, one of the things that I always say to you is before you follow up, search the group to see exactly what they've been up to because you never know, you might have missed the notification. And the beautiful thing about it is, is before you follow up, if you go and search to see what they have been doing, you can actually talk about that rather than being a bit vanilla and saying, hi, how are you? Have you had a look around? Are you enjoying it? It's wishy-washy. We don't need to be wishy-washy with what we've got. We've got the best products available in the industry. We don't need to wish, be wishy-washy in the slightest. We just need, need to be completely proud of what we've got. So this is what I was doing with Adrian before Adrian actually started with the company. Before I would speak to Adrian, I would always have a little look to see what he'd done. And you can see here that he's got interaction with Kayla. So when I've then gone to speak to him, I've been able to see, oh, see you getting on with Kayla, see you getting on with the group, things are going well for you. Um, it's easier to have a conversation when you've got knowledge. When you haven't got knowledge, you're flying blind. There's no point flying blind. We all know what that does with the wind, and I won't put the first part to it. So if they do not accept your invite, 
Remember the tools that I, t I taught you? Don't go asking them, you know, see you haven't received, yeah, you haven't accepted in. Don't go with a begging bowl. We're not here to beg, we're here to show. Best way to do it, if you know that they are not in the group, then go and pick up a post. Go copy, go hit the three lines, and that will open this up. What you do on your mobile phone, and it only works on your mobile phone, is you scroll all the way down, you copy the link up to post, and then you send it to them, and then this is what happens. And if you've not pitched both, you can do it this way as well. So basically, the way that this happens is it will not load for them. And this is the beautiful thing, is that if you've not pitched both, you can do this with both the groups. So say, for instance, I've pitched Kevin for the Digital Nomads group, which is the trading group, but I've not pitched him for the travel. But I'd like to, you know, get him interested in the travel. I can go on the um, Dream Trip group. I can do exactly the same. I can pick up the three dots. And when I pick up the three dots, what happens is it won't load for them because they're not in the group. So then I can then turn around and say, oh, sorry, you're not in the group. I'll send you the link to the group. If it's the one that's the one that you've already sent the link to, you say to them, oh, well, I sent you the link for it a few days ago. That's why you can't see it. Let me sort this out for you. Let me sort this out for you. Because then instantly you then become helpful. If they can see that you're helpful, again, you're installing trust with them to want to work with you. And this is what it's about. It's about using the groups to install the trust. You can then, if they haven't joined, you can then do a few little moves behind the scenes, which will be like, okay, all right, I need to have a look. And you can help them. And when you're helping someone, they're always more inclined to want to work with you. And the fear of missing out always works perfectly. Let's be honest about it. How frustrated have you ever got before? And you've looked at something on your phone, you've wanted to open it up and you just can't. You get so frustrated, you like, and then you know you're missing out and you want to see, you want to see a bit more. So this is why this works. Now, remember what I said, don't blanket invite. Once your prospect has been invited, you cannot search again for them. You can't search to invite them again, which means you can't invite them again which therefore means that what you're going to need to use, is going to need to use the top line of the, U, of the URR. And at the point when I looked at this last, there was 33 invites waiting. There was more people waiting to join the group that was actually in it at that point. And that's why I say don't do that. But if you have done that, what you'll need to do is you'll need to pick up the URL at the top, send it to them, so that therefore that they can find it. Because if not, all what's going to happen is they're not going to be able to find it in their notifications because it could have been a week ago that you sent it to them. I'm not being funny, but I struggle keeping up what was sent to me 24 hours ago, let alone a week ago. I've, I've, there's no way I'm looking for, for notifications that are a week old. It's not time constructive for me. You know, we're here to work smarter. We're not here to work harder. So, you know, those little tricks will really, really help you guys. So I'm just going to quickly stop the recording on this